Pitanga Tree, agroplants.org, uh, also known as a Suriname cherry tree. Uh, this perennial evergreen, uh, some cultivar can grow as a shrub, but this specific we talk about the uh, tree. Uh, it's growing a uh, hardiness zone from 10 above. Uh, the fruits edible and can grow in a tropic, subtropical desert or Mediterranean climate. If you like this plant, you should grow it so there is link below in the description and just buy it so the leaves are young, uh, red when they are young uh, the flowers are not very significant they are white uh, the fruits uh, can be orange even yellowish a little bit uh, to red and the purple even okay so it depends the cultivar the taste is something that I would say that it's there is side effect of the taste i actually love it a lot of people that i know cannot bear it they just want to puke when they eat it it's something weird i don't know some people really love it like me and some people really hate it so be aware that you should uh, taste it uh, some cultivars are more uh, let's say pleasant for more people some are more harder uh, you need to understand that the flavor it's this is the main thing in this plant so i would consider maybe uh, to taste it before you grow it it's one option and i think it's the right option so you have uh, a tree or a sherb i recommend by uh, my luck and my uh, experience to grow the tree uh, not because it's harder to grow the shrub, because I think that uh, what I get into, it's just better fruits. I just prefer these fruits, although I like all of them, so I'm not really someone to trust on what to choose here. But let's uh, start with the condition, it's important. So slightly acid soil, you don't have to. But it's make it better, especially when it's young. Frost free, especially when it's young. It can survive light frost, so be aware, but uh, not recommendable. You can start by seed seedling, even cutting, or just to buy a plant. Of course, this is the easiest. Uh, it's invasive plant, so be aware that when you plant it, especially in the tropic, it can uh, cause some problem. Uh, planting season can be all the year in the tropic if it's colder climate, spring to the wind, uh, spring to the autumn. Uh, efforts can be crucial, especially when it's young. Uh, except this uh, height will be from 4 to 7 meters, so it's mean 12 to 21 feet. In the right condition, it's a fast growing plant and require average amount of water, too big amount of water. Uh, by the way, it can be even drought tolerant. It can survive with a small amount of water, but be aware that uh, if the fruits are early fruits, and you still have uh, rain, so you don't need to put water at all. If you have a very, not let's say, the spring, the fruit arrive in the, in the summer, so you don't have a spring rain, so you should consider uh, to put more water. Uh, so blooming season will be in the spring, it's a white flowers, and actually they are not significant, as I said before. Fruits are spring to the early summer, uh, major pests are fruit fly and birds, you can eat it raw or make, make juice. Uh, if it's early, uh, early fruits, so you don't really need to take care of it, so you should consider. There is even fruits in the end of the winter, so choose something that will be good for you, especially if you have fruit fly. Fruit fly, it's a crazy how much they attack everything, and they, it really destroys the the opportunity to to eat this uh, it takes two to three years to get some fruits and big quantity it's let's say uh, four years except this super easy to grow there isn't special requirement just put grow and enjoy from the fruits it's all from growplants.org don't forget to subscribe visit our website and like this video uh, if you have any question just ask or you would like a video also you can ask uh, check for more video, follow us on Twitter, and of course you have here a link to buy the plants that we talk about, and also down.